Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't filmed in a while. It's been a minute. You can't even see my headband up against this background. I did order some other backgrounds, so hopefully it's less like garbage. We will see. I'm just gonna do a super chill, like to check it ready with me. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna do any sort of like revolutionary graphic look, no challenge. No nothing, just a super neutral, wearable look. Um, I might throw like a small pop of color in there but we will see. I just took my Milani Chill Out Primer. I just had to take Ninja to the vet to get her teeth cleaned. She's like getting a dental cleaning done and Bandit is now searching the entire house looking for her. And it makes me really sad. <laughs> He's like, where is she mom? He's very protective of his little sister, big sister. Oh, go this way. He's just searching the whole house, like going room to room looking for her. Makes me really sad, but Ninja does have to have her teeth cleaned, so here we are. For foundation, I'm just gonna take my NARS uh, Sheer Glow. I put in a really big order at Sephora for their like 50% off lipsticks sale that they had going on. So once that gets here, I got dog hair on my face. Once that gets here, I'm gonna do a like haul slash swatch. I apologize if you can hear everything. <laughs> um, I have the window open because so it's really nice today. Now I haven't used a brush for my foundation in like a million years. So I'm going to see if I can get away. It's just like a flat top um, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JHO3 brush. If there's a reason. <laughs> brushes anymore. I wonder if I just got like swept up in the hype of the sponges. I do really like them and I do have my sponges wet. This is much easier for blending down the neck. Brushes are much easier to clean than sponges. I will probably still use a sponge for my concealer because that's who I am as a person. For concealer. Oh, it's literally right in front of me. It's the KBD um, walk it concealer. I really wish I could figure out why well, I know what to do for the lighting in here. I need to get soft box lighting. Um, but it's really expensive and I am broke. So I probably won't be doing that. This is just an EXO Beauty angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to buff this out or like pat it out. And then I might go in with the sponge. Yeah, I might go in with the sponge just to like blend them together. But for blending in this inner corner, the brush is actually way better. I really love this concealer, but I definitely need one that's like, yeah, less yellow. Color, what color is this? Oh, it's cool. L13 cool. Am I like, am I dumb? So this is saying it's a cool undertone. My skin's fairly neutral. Oh yeah, okay. I see it now, I'm done. Oops. <laughs> so I need one that's more neutral. We'll get there one day. One day my skin will match. I'm taking this Jane Airedale Afterglow Glow Time Blush Stick. 
This is like it's really pretty. And for this, I'm absolutely taking a sponge because I've got my foundation on underneath and I don't want to be swiping with a brush and disturbing all of that. Done that before, I learned my lesson. Huh. Apparently I cut myself. That's neat. There. I am going to go ahead and set my face right now because I want to. <laughs> I'm taking my Peach Perfect face powder and it's got this little like stopper on the top and I'm actually gonna like leave that this time. I took it off last time but it's kind of nice to have on there. It smells exactly like peaches. Really big face brush. Sorry, I've got my mirror right here, so I have to keep like checking the blend of everything. You know, you get it. You know what's going on. Hello. I, oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna take my ColourPop Get Fresh palette. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Lost in it, which is this like, mustardy brown-ish shade. The only thing I don't like, but it's great for like weight saving and expense saving is there's no mirror on it, but that's all right. So I'm just gonna take that on like a clean blending brush. I've washed all of my brushes. It was exhausting and super satisfying. <laughs> and now I'm just getting them dirty again. I always feel really bad leaving any of my dogs or animals at the vet. Um, it makes me like really, really sad because I know they're scared. Like I know it's for the best and I know she's going to feel so much better after this because her teeth have been bothering her for a while as I've been just waiting for the appointment. Um, but I just, I feel so bad when I drop them off because she's just like she looks at me like where are you going like you forgot me it's like no I didn't I promise I'll be back but the vet here um all the girls that work at this vet are super nice um so I know I know she's in good hands I just feel really guilty real guilty. I'm just taking a bigger blender brush and buff that out up top. It's actually kind of why I'm filming right now. I am going to go to work after this. It's like 8 30 in the morning um but I needed to sort of sit and talk and just sort of like get my mind off of feeling bad about it because I know it's what needs to happen. I just wish I could explain that to her. That's all. Now on that same first brush, I'm just going to take open, which is like a slightly darker and more like neutral, cooler-ish toned brown. I'm just going to pop that like directly in the crease. And I wasn't really going for like a no makeup makeup look, which is good because clearly I got some stuff on my face, but I just wanted to do like a more neutral sort of everyday look. I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while. You know, neutral tones, nothing super warm, nothing super smoky, although this is getting a little bit smoky. Now, I am going to take Freak, 
which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to pop that on my lid with my finger. Ever so slightly because I don't want... Well, okay. It was just going to be in the center, but that didn't happen, did it? That's all right. I'll just take our trusty blending brushes and blend it out. There we go. I just wanted it to be like a soft sort of accent on the lid. Yeah, I'll do my lashes and then I'll do my brows after. So I'm just going to go in with my Essence Lash Princess. Very much dried out. I think this is probably the last time I'm going to get to use it. That makes me sad because Essence is, or especially this mascara is probably one of my like top five favorite mascaras, including high-end mascaras just all over. That's nuts. And this mascara is like four dollars. Good. That's good. That's what I was going for. Oh, now my eye is watering. Ugh. Okay, so that's just one coat. I wasn't putting really more on this lash. I was just kind of separating it. Um, so yeah, now I get to wait until this dries. So wait till that dries and I'll put my lashes on. So this is the before. And that's after. I don't know if I said that's before. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to do my brows. I'm not actually going to do lower lash anything today. I'm going to rock the bare lash look, bare bottom lash look. I'm taking my ABH brow pomade. So as I was putting on my lashes, the vet called and it like my heart dropped because I don't I've only dropped her off I only have dropped her off like an hour ago I was like oh my god something happened um and I knew they were conducting blood work before putting her under the anesthesia so she just wanted to go over those with me because last time like Ninja's been having some really bad digestive issues and so two months ago she had a blood panel done and like everything was fine it was great but her liver values or two of her liver values were slightly elevated um and so when the vet just called she said one of them is down like quite substantially which is amazing but the other one is slightly more elevated so we sort of just had to go over like options and um like explain the risks so yeah um i said ultimately go ahead with the cleaning um because I don't, she is not exhibiting any other signs. Um, I said, I, I understand the risk and she does have one infected tooth that I know of. I can't see her back teeth. Um, so I, I, I was explaining that to the vet and they're like, yeah, there's a really good chance that her body fighting that infection could be what's elevating her liver values. So yeah, ultimately we decided together to go ahead with the cleaning um, and in a couple months check the value again to see if it was the infection and once that's gone to see if her liver values go back down to normal. And they're not like crazy high. They're not like through the roof elevated. They're just slightly elevated 
higher than normal for what like a dog her age should have. And the other thing too is she is a senior dog and that also can contribute to um, higher liver values. So we pretty much just see, but oh, I hate that feeling when like, I don't know. <laughs> if you've ever had like a pet or a loved one in their respective hospitals and you see that number show up it's like ooh. just like a punch to the gut but they're gonna get started on her pretty soon which means that sooner that I will be able to pick her up and bring her home I think that, oh I'm gonna do bronzer I, for bronzer, I'm taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Warm up the face just a little bit. And I probably will take a little bit of blush. I'm just going to take my Milani Rose. Oh my god, I got eyelash in my eye. Very annoying. Rose Doro. like very golden. Super pretty though. I'm just taking that on an Exo Beauty angled face brush. Blush brush. Brush brush brush. I am gonna put on highlighter because I'm me. Duh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take my Jasmine Beauty Coastin highlighter. Looks like that. It's not overly like, oh, you can't even see that. There. Super pretty. I absolutely love it. This is a Jasmine Beauty highlighter brush. This brand, I think, is really underrated or just not spoken about enough. But they are amazing, cruelty free. Most, if not all, of their products are vegan. And they are just like super high quality. Love it. I'm going to take my Rare Beauty setting spray just to set everything down. Was that too much? Probably. I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah. For lips, I'm going to take my, what is this? Beach Cosmetics Nude Ego, and this is in the shade Tickle. like a pink nude, like a mauve, mauve. And I actually find with this, I like it better without a lip liner because you've got that really like fine tip. And I'm just gonna let that dry. Take my headband off. Take my hair out. I've got so many bobby pins in my hair right now because I woke up and it was just all over the show. My hair will still be up for work because I just find it to be less in the way. You know. There. Now these are pretty much dry, my lips. I'm just going to take a little bit of that highlighter. There we have it. This is my kind of want to get dolled up every day, soft, neutral, easy makeup. I'm going to go to work. <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.